G'day guys, it's Jordy here from Neighborhood. Have you ever wanted to create quotes to share with contacts interested in buying a product or service from your company? Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that, along with some best practices. As a heads up, you'll need Sales Hub at the professional or enterprise level for this intuitive feature. If you're keen on more practical support inside HubSpot, Neighborhood offer a comprehensive, easy to follow course so you're making the most out of HubSpot. Stay tuned for more info at the end of this video. If you wanna take your learning offline though, we'll include a downloadable PDF in the description below. Now for quotes, there's a couple of places that you can go to enter a quote. Um, what you do need though for a quote is a deal, which you can do from within deals or we can do access them through uh, sales and then quotes. I'll show you both ways. So if we go sales and then use quotes, you'll see here are some sample ones previously. You can just click up here to go create quote. And what it's gonna do is say associate with a deal. So if the deal is already existing, you could choose it here, or you could create a new deal and you have to create that deal. If I jump back here quickly, if we go up into sales and then deals, this is the other way of going to quotes and creating one. Say with this Angela Shoes one here, we click on this deal. And you'll see down the side here in this panel, there's quotes, so you'll be able to view all the uh, live quotes for this person or previous quotes for this deal in particular. So then if I click on add, it's automatically gonna associate this deal with the quote. You don't actually have to do that manually. And so this is that next step on that one. Once you've already, this is the next step on that um, quote creation once you've actually associated the deal. So as you can see here, you've got a few different options here for your quote tools, your, all your templates available. There's three standard ones and you can also edit it if you head into the uh, manage quote templates there. The quote name, that's gonna pull directly from the deal name. So Angela's shoes here. You can choose when this is gonna expire. So this is when that link to this quote is not gonna be available anymore. So let's say in 30 days. Next is the comments to buyer. What you can do here, if you do have snippets or some common things that you do write to people, you can set them up in snippets and see if I click on that, it's gonna automatically populate that. Or you can add in your own things here. So see when I type there, you'll see here in the preview that comments from Geordie appears here and then that note to Angela appears there as well. Just a little bit of a personal touch there, or you could add in any additional uh, descriptions or information about the deal here or the quote. Then as well, purchase terms. There's nothing here available at the moment, but if you do have common purchase terms or there is specific ones to this quote, you can type them in here. Or again, if you do have a snippet, you can say terms and conditions, and then that will automatically populate in the template there. If I click on next, then we do the buyer information. So this contact associated with that deal is Angela. This is her information. If something isn't correct there, you can click on that. Change her job title, for example. Change the phone number or misspelling of first name, last name. You can update that information. And then you can add the company. So if the comp this deal or this quote will be associated with that company as well. So you can search for the, that company or create a new one there as well. We're just gonna leave company blank for this one. What you'll see there with uh, her information, it all appears just here as well. Then in this, you see this is your information. This is me sending your information, your company information. You can see here you can update that phone number, the job title or email there. Um, and then your company information. This is where you can just fill that out. So it just adds a bit more detail there and you'll notice and then that appears down the bottom there. Then if we click on next, this is when you're gonna add in your line items. So if you have set up your product library, you can select from product library. We won't go into that today, that's for another one. Or you can go create custom line item. So if you haven't updated your product library and you wanna add in things custom, we can click on this here. So this is what the product is. In this case, it was for shoes. You can add in your SKU number, description of it. 
image URL there. You can put it, uh, like links in there to click through to, to products. Um, here are some custom ones we've got. Audit, yes, no. Then the unit price, so this is what it's gonna be, um, how much you're gonna quote for that product. So these shoes, let's say they're $50 a pair. You can choose the billing frequency, so how often. So if this was gonna be an ongoing deal where every single quarter, Angel was gonna buy the same product over and over again, we'd say quarterly. Or one time, monthly, you've got all your options through there. We're just gonna say one time for this example. Then the unit cost, so this just helps you out to work out what it, what it costs you. So you put in, these cost me $10 a unit, the margin is $40. So that all goes into the back end for the reporting. Um, in the case where there is, um, you change the billing frequency to say monthly, this is how long that's gonna be for. So how long they're locked in for. So say if you did 12 months, build, build monthly, then it would times this by 12 and give you that full amount. So let's do monthly. You can save and add this one or save and add another. If you've got multiple line items you wanna include, I'm just gonna do the one here. You'll see here, it starts giving you all the information across here. You can change the quantity, let's say by 500, that updates all of this. You can offer a discount if you want to that customer. So this is per unit discount. And you'll see across here, it gives you your net price, MRR, MRR, AR, and TCV there as well. You've got the recurring subtotal. There's the subtotal there. You can add in any fees, discounts. So if we want to offer one time, just for this one, uh, one month, we do a one time discount. Let's say we do, so we can do $10,000 or you could do a percentage. But just for this one, it's gonna be that. And then we're gonna add in tax. So if you're in Australia or wherever you are has tax, then you wanna include that as well. So Australia, it's GST, percentage is 10%. And you could add an additional fee there where it could be a one-time fee for processing, say for example. Once you've got everything you want in here, you can click on next. It takes you through to the signature and payment. So you can see here, here's my, my preview with all that information there. So this one is unit price, $50 a month per pair, 500, which is $25,000 a month for one year. So you can go here, so you can say include space for written signature. If I scroll down. So that way the person can print this out, sign it and send it back. Or you've got use e-signature, which with HubSpot on the sales professional, um, it is 50 uh, signatures per month um, in total. Or you can pay for different packages to um, have more of them. Angela is the person we require to sign this, so I'm gonna choose that. And then I need a counter signer, so somebody within the business here uh, needs to be the counter signer. So that's Cameron for this one. You can click through and go to HubSpot Payments. Currently not available in Australia, but it potentially will be at the time of this video. Or you can do Stripe and you can connect that up separately. But that's for a different time. This is just a quote, so it's gonna go no payment required. It's processing all of that. You'll see it's appeared there with that verification. Click on next. Gives me one last preview to scroll through and double check everything. We're gonna save, publish quote. And then you can copy that link and that's the link you're gonna share for this quote. You can click write email with quote and it'll pop up in HubSpot on that contact and you can send it directly with the link or copy that link and send it in your own uh, outbox. If we close that, it takes me back to the deal and then you'll see that it appears there. And there you have it. You now know how to create a quote. If you wanna make the most out of HubSpot, Nable would offer a step-by-step -step course covering marketing, sales, service, and CMS hub in depth, ensuring you and your team are best serving your customers while developing efficient internal processes. We'll include a link for this below. As well, if you gained value from this video or you're keen to learn more about HubSpot, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, if you're after a PDF version of this for later, or you're wanting to pass it on to a mate in need, we'll include a link in the description.